Sailing is one of the most primitive forms of transportation. The theory of sailing is a relatively simple one, but understanding how to use all of the lines on a sailboat can seem like a daunting task. In this video, we're gonna be talking about how to properly use your running rigging in order to be better at understanding sail trim. As mentioned before in a previous video, we hoist our sails with halyards and unfurl with furling lines. But once our sails are out, we need to understand how to manipulate them. There's three ways to manipulate a sail, draft, angle of attack, and twist. First, let's talk about the effect that our running rigging has on the draft of our mainsail. The first and most common line on a sailboat used to manipulate draft is called the outhaul. The outhaul is a little line that runs from the clue of the sail to the end of the boom and can be used to flatten the foot of our main. By tightening the outhaul, we're gonna be reducing the power of the lower section of the sail. The next piece of running rigging that some boats may have is an adjustable backstay. The mast is fixed in position at the mast step and where the forestay attaches. By tightening the backstay, the top of the mast goes aft and the middle section bows forward, thus flattening and reducing the power of the middle set of the sail. Because it's adjusting the power aloft, tightening the backstay is a really effective means of reducing excessive healing and weather helm. The last piece of running rigging that we may have to affect the draft is the cunning ham. The cunning ham is a little line that's run through a grommet just above the tack of a sail. By tensioning our cunning ham, that's going to increase the tension of the left of the sail, which in turn flattens the sail slightly, but more importantly, moves the draft forward. This means that the power is being redirected at a more efficient trajectory. Next, let's talk a little bit about our boom vang. The boom vang, or kicking strap, is a line that's used to pull the boom down. A boom vang can be comprised of a rigid piston system like this, or it can be a simple block and tackle. The boom vang's primary function is to control the amount of twist in the main. By tightening the boom vang, that's gonna pull the boom down and reduce the amount of twist. I like to think of the boom vang as a separate main sheet just for the head of the sail. The final two bits of running rigging that we have to manipulate the main are our main sheet and our traveler. The traveler is a little car to which the main sheet is attached. It can move the main to starboard and it can move the main to port without changing the elevation of the boom. This means that it only manipulates the angle of attack and does nothing for the twist. Which finally brings us to our main sheet. Initially, the primary function of the main sheet is to move the boom in and out and adjust the angle of attack. After a certain point of trimming, however, the main sheet stops pulling the boom in and starts pulling the boom down. At this point, the angle of attack is not being manipulated so much as the twist. Because of this phenomenon, when sailing on a close haul, set your twist with your main sheet and then adjust your angle of attack with your traveler. In summary, the outhaul flattens the foot of the sail, the backstay flattens the middle set of the sail, the cunning hand moves the draft forward, the boom vang controls the twist in the sail, the traveler controls the angle of attack, and the main sheet controls both the twist and the angle of attack. Some additional rigging commonly found on sailboats includes a topping lift to hold the boom up, spare halyards for whatever, a pole lift or topping lift which is going to lift the spinnaker or whisker pole, a downhaul or four guy which is going to pull the whisker pole down, and a whisker pole. I really hope that this video has been helpful in understanding the common rigging on a sailboat. And for more information on draft, angle of attack, and twist, please watch some of my other videos. Thank you so much.